the air, water, earth, and sun awes us. The four awesome forces of nature can provide a thousand times more energy than we need. You are also awesome. You and me and all earth kind are the fifth element. We are literally changing the world. Technology is now harnessing nature's awesome power for electricity, heat, and transportation. And the best news is that the clean energy transition can save us money and create a more prosperous, just, beautiful, and sustainable civilization today. Welcome, if you would. Let folks know who you are, where do you live, what kind of work do you do? Yes. Hi, I'm Angelo Chambrone. Um, my firm is Clearpoint Energy. Uh, we're an energy consulting firm. I've been consulting oh, for the last 11 years, been in the energy space for 30 plus years. And we are located in upstate New York, uh, Syracuse slash Liverpool, New York. That's Excellent. our story. And we'll get more into it. All right. Well, Angela, we like to start with, we call them a quantum quote, an inspirational quote. We have one you'd like to share. Care to share with our audience, please? Sure. I often think of the Eagles is a, a good band. And I got a peaceful, easy feeling. That's I got a peaceful. But I try to think about, you know. Every day we should all have that peaceful, I drink easy some tea. Feeling. There we go. Outstanding. <laughs> So yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Well, if you would um, tell us what you're doing, uh, why? So first, actually, we'd like to start with why. So why do you focus in on clean energy, Angelo? What, what, why do you do this? Yeah, like I mentioned, I, I've been in the energy space for, for 30 plus years, um, all different facets of it from the utility side, the retail side, the wholesale side of the business. Um, renewable energy in particular, intrigues me for a couple of reasons. One, um, I'm a big environment guy. Uh, my family, myself, we spend a lot of time outside. So anything that helps the environment um, is a good thing. I've personally been in many, many coal fired power plants. And when you come out and you blow your nose, you have a really good reason why you need renewable energy. Because it's not a pretty what shows up on that tissue and that's only being in there for maybe an hour or two. Imagine if you worked in a coal fire plant for, you know, for days and looking at the cars in the parking lot and they're coated with soot. Um, so renewable energy, I like it because it's a win-win for everybody. It helps the environment. Um, we'll talk about this more in a minute, but uh, good for the environment, good for the pocketbook. Um, it's a natural progression of you know, evolving uh, technology. So that's why I'm interested in it. I really like like the fact that it benefits those two things, the environment. Um, and at the same time, it helps, you know, companies and people save money. Great. Outstanding. So, yeah, tell us what's, what sort of uh, things are you doing and promoting at this point in time? Tell us about this uh, special offer that you got for Central Hudson customers. Sure. Um, well, the hottest thing in, in New York State um, right now is community solar. Um, community solar um, is a way for customers to participate, both business and consumers, in renewable energy without putting solar on their houses or business and, you know, enjoying the benefits of saving money uh, on their electricity bill. So just a 10 second community solar is a remote solar farm uh, folks, they're starting to pop up all over uh, the state, especially in upstate New York. Um, beautiful to me, they're beautiful. Um, you see them in the fields. It's kind of like cable TV. You can subscribe to that. As a subscriber, you get the benefits of the solar without the solar on your house. In particular, in central Hudson right now, um, I should back up. What we do is we, we work with a lot of solar developers uh, one of the things we do is, is bring people together. So the developers build the projects. 
And now they need people and businesses to subscribe in order to make them economically feasible. In Central Hudson right now, there's a great program, saves you 10% on your electricity bill. Um, you can cancel anytime you want without penalty. Um, and the average consumer would, depending on your usage, uh, probably saves about $100, $150 a year. Um, and literally for signing a piece of paper. So wow. your next, so the next question is, wow, that's that's too good to be true. And this is what I hear all the time. Wait a minute, a ten percent savings, and I sign a piece of paper. This must be another one of those energy scams that, unfortunately, we all get phone calls about things in the mail. This is absolutely not a scam. It's 100% legitimate. Why? And I don't know how much you want to get into the evolution of how we got here as a state, but New York State has goals to become 70% renewable by 2030. To achieve that, they're incentivizing solar developers, wind developers, offshore wind to build renewable energy and to do that, it's a subscriber model. So you have to subscribe people to the projects. So that's why it exists. Um, it's a great deal for customers. It's painless. It takes about maybe five minutes to sign up. And again, if you're ever tired of saving money, which is hard to believe these days, you can cancel. It's great. So, yeah, so the history of solar in New York. So let's just talk a little bit about it. So when I first started in uh, solar in the early 2000s, um, it used to be that you had to put solar where you had a meter. And so you would do something called net metering and you put solar on your home or other building and you'd spin your meter backwards when you generated more electricity than you were using. So that was net metering. And that was kind of the first phase of solar. The next phase of solar was something called remote net metering, where you could put solar on a different property that you owned or rented. And then you could use that solar elsewhere, but it had to be your property um, to spin your meter backwards and all your different meters. So you can expand it beyond the particular meter that you had. And I did a bunch of projects with folks doing just that. But now with community solar, you don't have to put up the solar at all. You don't have to have it on your property as long as the solar farm, the solar property is within your utility territory, you can get the benefits of solar. And as you're saying, now it's a subscription model. So you don't even have to put up the capital, you can just sign up and you get a 10% discount, which is pretty incredible. So community solar has right. been around New York for just a few years now, right? Yeah, I mean, technically, you could say community solar somewhat was launched in 2012 with the New York Sun initiative. But it's really about two to three years old Yeah, um, is when NYSERDA uh, implemented what are called PONS to, to make it all happen and created the incentives. Yeah. So it's really new. Um, it's new. And, you know, I encourage everybody to do it, businesses and consumers, um, you know, because there is the situation is there isn't enough capacity at the moment for everybody to participate. So when you have a chance to participate, it's good to jump on it uh, because of the fact that it's limited. So you got an opportunity, I say, go for it. Yeah, so so one of the things that people always ask is, well, wait though, if I, my electricity is coming from the sun, what happens at night? What happens when it's cloudy days and all sorts of stuff like that? Yeah. you're. Your power comes from the power grid to serve your house. So community solar projects inject, if you will, power into the power grid that's used whenever it's needed. So your power will always be on. Renewable energy is really a displacement concept. Think of the power grid as a big giant swimming pool. And there's a lot of hoses that are going in there to fill it up from all different sources. And one way to think about the benefits of renewable energy is if new, renewable energy is injecting into that pool, then something dirtier like coal or oil, and then lastly, maybe natural gas can be used less. So the pool is made up more of cleaner energy 
than dirtier energy. So it doesn't affect your, your house. You still call your utility if you have problems or the power goes out. No disruption at all. It's not plugged directly into your house. Hope that answers your question. Yeah, definitely. So basically it's, you know, it's um, your piece of the grid winds up coming from solar. And when solar is not generating, you're still getting your energy from somewhere else for a short period of time. But over the year, your piece of the grid comes from that solar system that's generating the amount of power that you're using. Is that the idea? It is. And again, think of that swimming pool again. The more people that sign up, the more encouraging that is to developers to develop more. And more and more and more over time of that pool water, and in New York's cases, they want that pool to be 70% renewable by 2030. Right now, that pool is pretty small in terms of how much is renewable. If you count hydroelectric, which has been in our state for, I don't know, 100 years, um, we're at about 27% renewable. So we've got a long ways to go. Um, so not only does participating help you save, but it gets this momentum going, which we, we really desperately need. All we have to do is, is, is look at Kentucky, right? The devastation, the unfortunate situation that happened there. And why do I bring up Kentucky? It's undeniable about global warming and climate change. Uh, I don't think anyone could argue that anymore. The frequency of severe weather has increased substantially. So we have to wean our dependence on fossil fuels and move to renewable energy. And so that's, that's another reason why we're passionate about it. And, and when you do it, that's not only you're saving money, but you're helping get this momentum going, which is critical, really. Nothing can be done without people behind it. Yeah, this is a way for everybody to have a significant positive impact. And meanwhile, we can save money too, which is the best of all worlds, right? So it's a wonderful thing. So it used to be when Community Solar first came out, um, you had to sign up for a long-term contract. Under this offer now, though, it's month to month. You can cancel at any time with no penalties, right? That's correct. They, they ask for a 90-day notice, which is standard in the industry. Um, reason for that is this, it's a relatively new uh, product that everyone is implementing. So it takes time to, to process, but I don't think anyone would deny 90 days is not a, not a big deal. No, not too bad. So, <clears throat> um, and no penalties, no, no uh, extra charges if you exit or whatever else, right? So No. And no, no sign-up fees to get into the program? No sign-up fees no uh, penalties to uh, cancel. It's, it's really a wonderful deal. So, okay, so <clears throat> I go to the website and I sign up and um, what happens then? So you go through the web process, which, which is gonna require you to have a copy of your utility bill handy so that um, your utility bill, your utility account number is what drives the, what's called the enrollment process or, you know, triggering your subscription. Uh, that information is sent to your utility. Your utility uh, will then so-called enroll you in the program. And in this case, the project is live uh, and operating. So within 30 days from that enrollment, you should start to see what are called community solar credits show up to reduce your utility bill. Excellent. Now in some utilitarian territories, they've uh, gotten advanced enough so that it's basically just a 10% discount on the bill. But my understanding is central Hudson is a little bit behind. So you get a hundred percent of the credits on your bill, but then you have to pay the solar company, the 90% that leaves you with the 10% savings separately. Is that how it works? Yeah, correct. So as an example, let's, let's say your electric bill is $100 and you got $100 in solar uh, credits on your bill. So your central Hudson bill is zero. And then you would get a separate bill from the solar company for $90, saving you 10 or 10%. 
the second bill situation is a temporary inconvenience. Now, the positive is you set up auto pay uh, with your credit card or, or your uh, checking account. And it's not like you have to write a check, put it in the mail, put a stamp on it, all that crazy stuff. So there is the convenience of, of auto pay, but the situation is temporary until Central Hudson who, to be honest, is a little bit behind the times of other major utilities in the state, gets their systems uh, ready to do the single bill uh, for this project, which I'm told could be as early as six months. Great. So in the single bill, then what's going to happen is once you get into the program, you're locked in, you've got your subscription, you get a piece of this farm for as long as you want. It could be as long as 20 years or more. Right. Um, yeah. And then right now you get a credit on your bill for 100 percent of the credit. You have to pay 90 percent separately back to the solar company. So you're keeping 10 percent. But then within the next six months or so, when Central Hudson gets their act together, it'll just be a 10 percent deduction right off your bill. Right. Yeah. Go back to our example. Instead of a hundred dollar credit on your bill and then a separate bill for 90, you would simply get a 10 dollar credit Correct. on your bill. Excellent. So that's going to make it simple, easy, much faster, better. And hopefully Central Hudson will catch up with the other utilities in New York State and start making this happen soon. And the more people who sign up and the more people who ask Central Hudson to do it, probably the faster they'll go. Right. So always a good right. thing. Wonderful. So so what do you see the, the forces that are driving community solar around the around the state and country and all? Well, n number one is is global warming is, is part of it. Um, that's for sure. And our state is pro progressive in that area of combating that, um, you know, through the public policy that's been implemented in the last 10 years. Uh, I won't bore you guys with the, with the history on that, but there's been several actions taken by New York state government to move in that direction. And then of course, everything in life is driven by economics. So it's actually economical to now build, own, operate, and install renewable energy. So the price of solar panels that developers use has drastically come down. So now all those forces, an obvious need to improve the, the environment and global warming, a lowering of the cost of, of actual renewable generation components um, has come together to, to make this happen, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, no, no, I totally agree. I mean, it's been really fascinating to watch the exponential decrease in solar prices. So when I first started doing solar in the early 2000s, the price per watt was almost $10 for just the equipment, $10 a watt, it's now down into 20 or 30 cents a watt. So the cost of the panels, the equipment itself has gone down so dramatically, where you still wind up with substantial cost is in all the racking and the inverters, and then the permitting process to get a solar system built is also time consuming and costly in New York and elsewhere. But you know, the reality is that the cost has come down so much, it's now very cost competitive. And when you take a look around the country and around the globe, Solar is now the most competitive source of energy on the planet. It's responsible actually for three quarters of the new generation in the United States over the last three quarters of 2021. So most of the energy that's being built in the country, most of the energy going up across the world is now solar and other renewables. And that's because the economics have worked out so well. So it's, it's policy, it's it's actually cost reductions and then it's consumer demand and so by signing up for this program you help create more demand and then more solar gets built wonderful all right so what kind of out output outcomes do you anticipate from uh, from everybody doing this angelo uh, i'm sorry can you repeat that what outcome? are the outcomes yeah what do you think is going to be the long-term outcome of, of people signing up for this program and then moving towards solar in general well, I mean, the, the obvious outcome, outcome is, is they're going to save money. Um, the second out, outcome, again, is, is they're helping with this demand and momentum to foster more development of renewable energy and foster other uh, technologies that are associated with renewable energy. It wouldn't surprise me down the road that 
Um, in addition to participating with community solar, there might be opportunities for customers to have batteries in their, in their homes that would supplement their, their power usage and take advantage of, of using power on uh, what are called off-peak times when power is cheaper. Um, so I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're just warming up here, um, getting started. And it's, it's really step one, uh, which I hope will be, you know, a bright future of more and more innovation and, and uh, you know, ultimately saving the planet and saving your wallet. There you go. Good for the economy. Good for the environment. There we go. Yeah. Um, excellent. So, what kind of lessons have you learned as you've been doing your energy consulting business and door community solar? What have you, what lessons have you learned? What challenges have you encountered and what are you doing differently now than what you used to do? Yeah. I mean, remember what we do is we bring people together and we've developed a, a pretty large network of solar developers um, that we bring to our client base, which, which is both commercial, industrial, healthcare, and consumer, more and more consumer. Um, what I've what I've learned is you have to be careful. There's a lot of promises in the renewable space. Um, so when we're on the hunt to add more and more developers to our portfolio, and the reason we, we do that is we're looking for developers that are right-minded, that can actually deliver projects and are customer friendly. That's kind of a big, big criteria for us. Uh, and I've learned along the way that you can spend a lot of time on, with developers that really are, are not in it for the long haul, that are really in, into it for a fast buck. So we've quickly learned how to sniff those kind out because they call and they, they want to talk and get going. And we've kind of learned that. That's a lesson I've, I've learned in the renewable space anyways. <laughs> Just in the renewable space, huh? You don't have people making fancy promises on anything else, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, so it's a fascinating thing, right? So, okay. So we, we like to ask folks if there's a particular kind of value we call them a supernova but some something that you've learned and done one unique kind of tip a tool or a tactic that you think people need to know but most people don't well i think regardless of what the situation is that you're dealing with uh whether it's consumer driven or commercial uh driven as a provider of something you know speaking as a provider of a, in this case a service is that you wanna bring some value to the table, information that they haven't heard before. So find that and bring that to the table. Because the last thing someone needs is someone coming, uh, calling them, talking to them about the same things that everyone else is. Um, so I've, I've learned that as a supernova and also come, we're really trans. I've always been a very transparent uh, person and company. I see no reason to, to change that. And that, that has really resonated, I think, with customers. They feel the honesty. They, they see the transparency. And renewable energy is great. It's not right for everybody. If someone is, is, doesn't feel it, then don't push it. That's my philosophy. Cool. So in most of our careers, we've all had kind of these down moments. And in those down, uh, down moments, uh, we come to some epiphany, um, you might say, about something that we need to change and then uh, come back up. You care to uh, share your worst clean energy moment? What happened and what'd you learn from it? Yeah, I really, you know, I, I really haven't had a worse moment in, in clean energy. I've had worse moments in other other business dealings, but so far, thankfully, I really haven't. Other than, you know, some some developers you get excited about because they'll tell you they're ready to go and they have this great philosophy and they want to be serve customers in the environment, and then they don't come through. So I guess that that's that would be the worst moment. But really, I've been fortunate not to uh, 
not to experience any. Cool. And how about an aha moment where all of a sudden you realize something that you hadn't not realized before that? Something that I haven't realized before. And, and hey, yeah, you just had this big insight, this big uh, inspirational moment where it was like, oh, that's the answer. Well, it, it gets it gets complex, but and I'm trying to keep this in the context of re renewal, renewable energy, but some of our very large clients, we've had aha moments together where we've shown them how to use community solar. Example is healthcare. How to use community solar as an overall hedge against rising prices and the need to really understand your strategy to use your community solar to not think in boxes. Like I always buy my commodity this way. Okay, I'll do community solar because it'll save me money, but never considering the overall picture of how it fits together. I know that can, that can be complex, but once the customer understands that, that's kind of an aha moment that I'm not sure even homeowners realize, like when we talked about the savings, that community solar is a natural uh, protector, if you will, hedge protector against rising prices. This is the higher the prices rise, the more credits you get to offset those increases. So that's another aha of why this is such a great, great product. Cool. Great opportunity. Excellent. Um, we're going to enter into the Pulsar round. We're going to ask you a series of questions and we're looking for your short, succinct, amazing, and mind blowing answers. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. There we go. All right. So, what's the best advice you've ever received? The best advice I've ever received? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I had a boss, mentor, however you want to describe it, that always described things he said when you're contemplating a decision that you're about to make or something you're going to participate in, we have paper here, what we used to call it the Syracuse post standard. So when you think about that decision uh, or thing you're going to participate in, think about if you read it in the post standard, would you be pleased or would you be disappointed? And if the answer was pleased, then it's probably a good decision. And the reverse is true, obviously. So I thought that was really practical way to think about lots of things in life. Would you want to read about it in the newspaper? Would you be proud? If so, it's probably a good thing. Excellent. If not, you might want to stay away from it. Good answer. All right. Share one of your personal habits that contributes to your success. Well, I'm really into music. Um, as sort of a closet uh, guitar player, I guess you would call it, because I don't pay, play professionally. So I take time in my day to, even if it's a couple of bars or whatever, I go I go play. It clears my mind, gets me back into it. Nice. Whether, whether it's supporting family or, or uh, you know, career stuff. Uh, I just, whatever that is for someone else, whether it's meditating for a while, going for a quick walk, I think you really got to cleanse a little your brain. Yeah, you know, can't always stay on. Change your space, change your state, eh? Sounds good. Yeah. All right. How about an internet resource you think that people might want to know about? Yeah, and especially we point people, especially those that are somewhat like a little skeptical, um, even though, like I said, I mean, we're 100% ethical, what we do. Um, but you can always go to the NYSERDA website. You can Google uh, Clean Energy Standard. You can Google New York Sun Initiative. You can Google um, those two things, and you'll find uh, a lot of information on NYSERDA about uh, community solar uh, and so on that, that really – this independent way of saying, look, it's it's going on and it's a it's a good thing. Great. Hey Angela, if you had a magic wand and you could wave it and change one thing for everyone in the world, what would it be? Well, I I would 
ask everyone in the world to just take a minute and listen to the person they're talking to before passing any kind of judgments. I think far too many times people just don't give that a chance. It doesn't matter what your political views are. Just be civil to each other. Nice. Great. All right. Um, we call this section WTF or F. Weather time fudge, an extreme weather event you live through and share the tale. Or weather time fun, the most fun you ever had and the type of weather it was. Which would you like to discuss today and share your story? Uh, most extreme weather event? Yeah participated in that's interesting um well the one that it comes to mind i don't know if it was extreme weather but uh, my wife and i were in ireland and we were to do one of these touristy things where you, you climb this mountain called crow patrick and it has uh it's religious and it, and it has a place uh uh you know a church at the top and the wind was so strong, I don't know, it must have been 50, 60 mile an hour gusts that we could only make it up halfway because my wife doesn't weigh very much. And she'd get blown right off the mountain. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, you know, we made it halfway up, okay. not all the way, but <laughs> that was an interesting experience. Yeah, it sounds it. All right. What's the one thing you're most energized about today? The sunshine. It's, it's uh, central New York. We get so very little of it. It's just unbelievable blue sky. I'm really excited about doing something outside. Nice. The sun, the greatest energy source in the solar system right here outside our windows today in central New York even. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's great. All right, so you've got these two community solar farms. Uh, what is it? One in Ellenville, one in Palinville, both in Central Hudson Territory. This great offer for a community solar for anybody living in the Central Hudson Utility Territory. They can sign up, save 10%, have a positive environmental impact. What's your next steps, Angelo, after, after you're done with this piece? Well, uh, get more developers on board. Um, to spread the word in uh, more utility territories in New York and other states, um, Maine, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Um, really, that's that's the concept. And find easier and easier ways to, to bring the parties together, to bring the consumers so they have a good experience and the developers together. That's what's next, hopefully. Great. All right, grand finale. If you would, share a piece of parting advice, uh, guidance, and the best way people to connect with you if you'd like them to. Um, you know, not a big uh, lot of advice other than, again, I, I think it's always important to, be li to listen and be transparent. Um, I really believe in that. And to get in touch, touch with me, um, you can uh, visit our web at clearpointenergy.com. You can email me um, at uh, achambrone at clearpointenergy.com. So the two best ways to, to reach me. Great. And if somebody in Central Hudson Territory wants to sign up for this great deal, um, what's the best way to do it? Where's the website? Um, they, can, they can go to uh, clearpointenergy.com. We'll, we'll put a link up there. Uh, there isn't one up there right now, but we'll we'll get that fixed uh, after this call. Uh, actually, uh, we'll edit that part and we'll just tell people to go to clearpointenergy.com, click on the link for Community Solar, and what else do they do when they get to the part about referrals and all? Isn't there something to do in there? Um, well, they just have to put EarthKind in there. Oh yes, that little quit, that little 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 piece you forgot there, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me let me let me find the link. What, what was the link that I sent you? Yeah, I know that's what I'm looking for too. So um... yeah, ask the question again, and then let yep. me. Yep. Yep. Let me. Yep. 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 Let me find it. Because it's not on my web 
right now because it's only one utility you know okay here it is so angela what's the uh is the website for people to go to it's ampion a-m-p-i-o-n dot n-e-t net slash clear point that's where they go and we'll have this in the notes folks and then uh when you go and they ask you who did the referral if you would put in Earthkind, that would be great so it's ampion a-m-p-i-o-n dot net slash clear point and uh put in the earth kind as the referral that would be fantastic thank you very much yeah that would be great all right anything that we missed that you wanted to cover no i think that's good got everything you wanted to say out there it's about the money <laughs> yeah, people do want to save money the only way to be truly sustainable i believe and i spent my whole career doing it is it's great to want to be clean and green it's great to want to do the right thing but the only way that we can all get there is if we save money because ultimately we have to be sustainable and the best piece of sustainability and the best thing about renewables is over the long term you can save money it provides outstanding returns on investments and the more we build the more the price comes down so let's keep going folks let's make it happen we've got a short period of time and thank you very much angelo shambrone of clearpoint energy for coming on the show and sharing your knowledge wisdom and expertise thank you hey you're gonna edit that it's the money thing out of there right i'm gonna leave it <laughs> i thought we were off and we were just casual now. not yet man nope 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 you ready to go hasta <clears throat> la vista baby jeez have a good one man thank you for joining us today awesome earth kind people do you want to increase your climate impact by a factor of 1,000? Then pick up your phone today and call your United States Congressional Representative and both your U.S. Senators and ask them to support the federal Build Back Better bill. Build Back Better will create the largest climate protection action in American history. Because so few people take the time and make the effort our elected representatives interpret the opinion of everyone who calls or writes as representing the views of 1,000 other citizens. Congress will vote on the Build Back Better bill that aims to get our country to 80% pollution-free electricity by 2030 and cut climate pollution 100% by 2050. The Build Back Better bill provides tax incentives for solar, wind, energy efficiency, electric cars, charging stations, and more. And it will finally cut the subsidies for fossil fuels. It will also drive major investments into communities that have been disproportionately hit by environmental injustice. When you make the calls, spread the word via social media by posting images of a large red exclamation point using the hashtags code red climate and code red congress you'll be joining some of your favorite musicians and celebrities including the dave matthews band dead and companies billy eilish melissa eldridge phineas maroon five britney howard john baptiste alex benjamin leonardo dicaprio jane fonda Mark Ruffalo, Damon and Stephen Marley, Group Love, Huey Lewis and the News, and many more. When the Build Back Better bill passes, the United States can enter the global climate negotiations on November 1st, with America setting out to cut climate pollution 100% by 2050 and be able to encourage other nations to do the same. If not you, then who? The time is now. Act now, pick up the phone, call your congressional representatives and US senators and help create a better future for our children and all the 7 billion Earthkind people on the planet. Thank you.